All right, so we need to build out the handle of the frame. And I applaud you for sticking with this so far. I know that it's been a very complex piece of geometry. Um, a revolver is a very difficult uh, weapon to, to model. Um, so looking at this, we've learned quite a bit of techniques as far as how to deal with um, shapes that are asymmetrical on an object. And so with just these few lessons, I hope you've learned a lot of different techniques and tools on how to bring things together, break them down into um, easy parts to just model, and taking it one step at a time. So now that we've finished out the back of the frame, the frame where the barrel connects, and then the trigger of the frame, let's start with the handle. So let's go ahead and take this center line right here, okay? And I'm going to actually split it um, into two, but I'm not going to do it just by double clicking on that loop. That would be very problematic for us because what it would do is it would um, change the shape of the barrel, okay, where that comes together and all of that, and that, that's going to be a big problem for us. And so what I'll do instead is I'm going to come in and I'm going to um, take these edges right here, okay, and I'm just going to connect them, okay, with a single segment right down the center, okay, and then I'm going to take these two edges right here, and I'm going to trace that around all the way to here. Now, before we do that, let's make sure we get these um, four edges, and let's connect those as well, just like what we did before. So now I can actually take these edges right here, and I can actually bridge those. But let's bridge all four of these, and watch what happens. Okay, so we're going to bridge that, but then I'm going to take these two polygons right here in the center, and we're going to go to our right view, hitting V and then R, and we're going to extrude that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to extrude that out, and let's take these vertices here, let's bring that down here, and take these and bring them down here. Now I'm going to select all of those across the bottom because I want those to be straight across. And let's go ahead and make those planar in the Y direction. Okay. So now I need to get the curvature of the handle. So let's go V and R and let's add in some segments. I'm going to go ahead and go to edge mode and select that edge ring. Okay. And then let's use connect. Let's add in, let's do three segments. That should give us plenty. Double click on this loop. Actually, let's just go to vertex mode and hit Alt X. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these vertices out to the edge of my reference image and that should match it up pretty well. Do the same thing on the inside, don't forget that. And just match it up the best that you can. Let me go ahead and pull this handle up just a little bit more and this one as well. I just want to kind of make these polygons evenly spaced. Now what we're going to do, let's hit Alt X. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll reconnect all of this. So let's go to edge mode and I want to select all of these edges. Okay, make sure we get both sides. And get these as well. Okay, let's not get that one though. Let's leave that one alone. And let's do this one as well. And let's hit oops, get this one. Yeah, it's not the right one. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this one too. Make sure that it selects that edge that goes all the way across there. And let's do connect. Let's just do two segments on this one. And then let's use our pinch, spread that apart to where it's pretty even uh, to the existing segments. Um, if it's not right on, you can always slide that to move that into position. Get it fairly close. So something like that. All right, good. So hit OK on that and then go to vertex mode and let's go ahead and target weld um, this vertex to here and this one to here. Okay, do the same thing all the way across both of those. Try it one more time there. Okay, great. All right, so there we have the handle. Now we have a little bit of an issue here. We have this um, this 
polygon right here. This is a five-sided polygon. How do we get rid of that? I don't want to create these segments that go all the way through, okay, in this case. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to build an end here, okay? So let's do, let's select these two polygons. Actually, you know what? Let's select these two edges. And let's go to loops, and let's say build end. And well, it doesn't like that one. Okay, uh, let's do this. Let's target weld, and let's target weld to here to here, just like that. And that's going to create two triangles. But watch this. Let's take these three edges, and let's do connect. Let's do a single connect here, and hit OK. And now what I can do is I can take these vertices and I can scale them toward one another. And now I get this inset, this loop right here, and that's going to be very very helpful. Okay, good. All right, let's do the same thing here. Let's do target weld here to here. Okay, and then select these three edges. And let's make sure that we have just the three. Let's do connect. And then take the vertices and scale those in toward one another. Very good. All right, so there we have our frame built. Finally. All right, so now there are a couple of other things that we need to do. We need to add some details into these because we don't want to get into smoothing this out without adding everything that we need to the model. So what else do we need to this specific model? Well, I need the, um, the hole for the hammer to fit into. I need the hole for the trigger to fit into. And then I also have these indentions that need to be across the top that kind of help with the aiming of the revolver itself. And